Okay, we're back live in Orlando. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com, SiliconAngle.tv, and we're here at SAP Sapphire, where all the latest action, data, wall-to-wall coverage with my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and uh, John, we're here with a good friend, Doc Rico, who is a technologist at EMC. I've known Doc for a long time. He's uh, yeah. been on theCUBE a number of times, and uh, we've actually, you, 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 you frequent Sapphire um, at least yeah. a couple of the latest years, but... Uh, yeah, so it's been welcome. About five five years now. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that. And, you know, I enjoy coming to both the uh, the U.S. show as well as the European show. I haven't made it over to Asia, but uh, I've not done the European show. How does it compare? Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting. They've got a, a very diverse audience in Europe as well, and you know, while there you could say there are a lot of similarities as they go through the through the technology industry, um, they have entirely different infrastructure needs. So it's really good for us to get exposed. But, so uh, um. You know, it's interesting. We've been last couple of years. We've been talking. You know, sort of marketing always leads the actual implementations. We've been talking about cloud and big data, and, and even in memory for quite some time. You're starting to see certainly cloud and analytics slash big data become real. But what are you seeing? What's what's sort of evolved and changed in the last couple of years? Yeah, the, you know, cloud is definitely becoming real, and more more and more customers, Dave, are are putting things out into the cloud either as a, a platform where they're they're running starting to build up applications in the cloud or they're using cloud services you know you, salesforce.com was unheard of a couple of years ago now it's hard to find a, a, a customer that isn't using them for CRM or a company that isn't using them for CRM in some some shape or form so you know as as this all starts to come together what's what's starting to become more important is that People have to mine not only what's in their data center, but they have to go out to these other sources for information and pull it all together into one place that's aggregated. Yeah, so we touched upon this last year. I've, I've asked a number of guests from UMC about uh, the comment that was made earlier by uh, Jim Hageman Schnabe this morning. He said, imagine a world where all data is in memory, yep. and imagine you don't need a traditional disk-based database. Yes, he did. <laughs> and I said, okay, he's taking a little tiny slap at, at <laughs> Oracle, which is fine. Yep. But then I'm saying, all right, we're going to have some folks on EMC later. I really <laughs> want to ask them about that. You know, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? <laughs> yeah, and, and I particularly loved his comment also where he said, uh, you know, the people who believe continue to believe in disk uh, have to realize that uh, the Stone Age didn't end because we ran out of stone, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so right, it's yeah. a you know good humorous <laughs> moment, but right. you know he's talking about you know uh, memory technologies that are shrinking to the point where you know in in 40 years you'll be able to get uh, uh, memory technologies that can sustain you know the size of the internet today. You know, I'm, I'm not sure that's literally true, but but it is kind of mind boggling. It, it is kind of mind boggling. But he's talking, you know, 40 years out, and uh, you know, I mean, of course, you have to imagine that as as information has accelerated over the last decade, it'll continue to accelerate. So 40 years from now, you're going to see much larger amounts of information that have to be mined. And frankly, you know, as we look at disk technology today, disk technology continues to evolve as well. And you know, the EMC products are getting more and more based on on silicon-based technologies, not just you know uh, spinning rust, right? I mean. It, there's there's a lot of new technologies coming out, so those will continue to evolve. But I think the you know the important aspect is that there is uh, you know faster and faster technology, and the, and the software to manage that information is really important. Mm -hmm. And and the other piece that I think uh, you know I, I actually heard on, on someone say on, on one of the earlier uh, uh, Cube episodes, they were talking about the evolution of, of servers. And saying that it's it's not really the evolution of CPU and memory that's important, it's the the I/O that goes with that to be able to process that information. 
and you know that's where where we see the importance and and we st we still think we have a lo long way to go with relevance and you know with all due respect to this morning I, I think it was a great message uh, and a great vision for the future but you know we have to think about the next three to five years not the next 40 yeah. because so Doc, I've been talking to some customers here also SAP customers and, and um, you know the hallway conversations are along the lines of uh, uh, I have EMC I have SAP. This right. is classic legacy, as people call it in the mm -hmm. industry. But in reality, you guys aren't a legacy vendor. You're making huge investments just to purchase the company, Stream.io. Right. So, but the conversation always comes back down to Flash. Right. So, uh, Flash is obviously disruptive enabler around speed and I/O. You mentioned so. There's architectural kind of configurations emerging. Data deployed, Wikibon's offering many of them. Going to come in the cutting edge ones. But customers are starting to play with SAN configurations in front of EMC. You see Fusion IO next to the processor. I need my EMC, but I need to have better caching. But the caches can't fit all the, the data in memory. So, mm -hmm. so in memory is kind of the, this elusive term. Right. But yet it powers cloud and mobile. Right. So, what's your take on that around these uh, proof of concepts and or these architectural configurations that are emerging? Yeah, I, I, I think you, you've hit it on the head, John. I, I think, you know, look at what we're doing with our VF cache technology, right? We're, we're not just taking Fusion I.O. cards. We're not just taking Extreme I.O. boxes and sticking them in front of storage. We're actually taking the VF cache technology and integrating it with the storage back end. So when you put something out there, it's actually it actually ties into the storage back end. So you've got the persistence in a shareable environment. Uh, you can replicate it, you can clone it, you can do all the things that you do with a storage infrastructure. You know, and, and then flash technology is evolving as well. There's tr there's the traditional flash today. Uh, that, you know, we use a single lo level cell type type technology. There's multi layer cells like in your your cell phone, which are much cheaper, but they're not as resilient. And there are next generation technologies that are that are coming out in the next three to five years as well. You know that, that do you know phase change memory that'll change literally the state of the electrons, right? So that you can you, you can store things and access them faster. But the important thing is it's got to be integrated in a way that you can manipulate it from a, and control it from a central point, so that it can be managed managed and seamlessly part of, of your overall environment. Yeah, and it's interesting too. Another observation. This is just more this is some color from my perspective, knowing EMC and, and um, having you on the cube and other EMC exec like Pat Gelsinger right. uh, and others. SAP and EMC have the same vision. I mean, I'm very impressed with EMC's comprehensive vision. Obviously, they're an application company, so they, they have a more swath of range of customer base than EMC right. relative to what they offer. But it's it's a lot of cloud meets big data. So EMC is cloud meets big data, which is a you know, clever slogan, re very relevant to what you guys are doing right now. But SAP doesn't even actually use the word big data much, but everything that they talk about is big data. It's right. cloud meets big data. So you know, you hear their investment areas, mobile cloud HANA. Right. That's essentially in memory, cloud and mobile. So that is a big data company. Yes. So you guys align well with that. So so how do you talk to customers and what are you hearing from your customer base around the big data configurations? You know, I just yeah. mentioned SANS in front of this, but, but 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 in particular, can you give us a use case like what Schnabe offered us? Yeah. Um, he said put a put HANA in front of a data warehouse that's risk free. Is there a use case for EMC that's that simple to understand uh, relative to Flash and these I/O memory? Yeah, it would put me on the spot with a with a simple use case, but you know, the, I think the EMC world, big data means a lot more than uh, th than just the, the simple cases that you that you talked about. Um, you know, the big data can be unstructured data to some; it can be structured data to others; it can be an aggregate of of all of that. So I think you know the the use case for for us is how do we take all of this information bring it all together for regardless of how many different sources, regardless of how many different types, how do you bring it together and how do you mine it mine it for value that can be presented to your business. So where are we going with it? You know, clearly uh, you know we see the value of being able to take different disparate uh, data data types, bring it together and then perform analytics on top of it, regardless of where it lives as well, which is which is critical to our infrastructure. So Doc, my last question uh, is you know for the you know well, for the last 15, 20 years, we've seen function move out of the server, you know, right. up to the array, and you're starting to see function move back. The, the, the storage hierarchy is sort of elongating toward the other side of the channel. You mentioned connections into the storage array, mm -hmm. and that's, a, the, you know, clearly your area of expertise. What about the other direction? Um, what are your thoughts there? Um, obviously, you've made, you know, an acquisition. My guess is it's not your last, um, but talk about 
you know, what the strategy is to, to take advantage of that. You're not a server company, right. um, even though you own VMware. Mm -hmm. so that's kind of a, I mean, not, not kind of, it is a server play. Um, is that the strategy to get closer to the channel and, 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 and closer to the Intel processor? And, 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 and talk about your strategy to manage that entire hierarchy. Yeah, you know, I think it's it, it's an all of the above. So it's you know that that, that answer E, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all of the above. You know, we really you really have to look at. There are many many situations where we're going to have to take some of the processing capabilities and move it down to the data because you don't want to move all of that data every time you need to process it. But you also have to take some of the data that's going to be used a lot and move it up to the server. So there's it's it's that integration and the play of the two parts as is how they come together. So. You know, I, I guess you know. In the interest of time, I'll just say, yeah. stay tuned. We'll be watching. You, know, you got your best people messages. working on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, Dr. Rico. Thanks very much for coming on the Cube. Always, Always a pleasure, pleasure seeing you. Always great, fun. Great to see and, uh, you again. Thanks for watching, everybody. We got a big day, big afternoon, John. Uh, we got a lot of great guests coming on. So uh, keep it right here, and we'll be right back after this word from our friends and sponsors. Great.